How's it going guys? Welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be kind of showing you guys our little uh, DIY spray rig I guess is what you can say. Uh, we just used it today and decided to do a video on it right now uh, since I'll be putting it away. Um, of course in the shed since we won't need it probably till fall time uh, when we do our next spring in our yards. But of course we had this like wave of weeds that like just came out of nowhere in the grass and so we went and took care of it uh, today. So that's been fun. We had an amazing day. Uh, the past two days have been extremely hot here. I think where I lived, it was in like the low 80s yesterday, and today was in the high 70s. That may not sound high compared to like Texas and Florida, but here where I live, that's actually pretty pretty warm. So it's uh, been pretty hot, kind of draining, so pretty tired right now. But let's go ahead and show you guys what we did. All right, guys, so I apologize if the camera's gonna be shaky, of course, the way I'm holding it. Uh, but this is our little spray rig that we went ahead and put together. This is actually, this is the North Star 25 gallon spray tank uh, with the electric pump that just runs off the battery. This is actually meant to go on an ATV, so it is an ATV sprayer, but of course, since we don't have a four-wheeler, uh, we just decided to mount it on our mower. And to be honest, it actually works quite well. Uh, I'll kind of go over exactly <clears throat> how we did everything, but, um, for what we needed, I was originally looking at buying a skid, uh, I believe it's called a skid sprayer. It's one of the bigger uh, 100, 200 gallon tanks, they go up to even three or more, that you can place in the back of your truck and runs off like a Honda or gas powered engine. Uh, really nice. At the time, we I wasn't really wanting to spend about two, three thousand dollars on it, so we just decided to go and invest in just this little, I think it was about 325, 350 dollars for this guy right here. Uh, which, to be honest, was quite worth the money. Uh, so first, of course, we have the we have the tank. Uh, since it is electric pump, it runs off the battery, as you can see, which runs underneath the seat. And then we have our on and off switch there. It does come with like an adhesive, and I place that there just so it's not, you know, f going all over the um, the foot deck. I guess is what you could say where you place your feet. So that's no problem at all. And of course, the hose, since it was meant to only spray you know a couple feet from the main component I had to go to Home Depot and actually purchase a longer hose which is what runs all the way to the back and so this is basically like a boom sprayer uh, of course instead of having um, the pipeline run out and then spray what it does is that these nozzles kind of spray if I can kind of like psh, like that in a sense and they can actually spread up to a pretty good size distance uh, we had them at, I believe, probably about eight feet, six to eight feet both ways. Uh, that way um, we were able to, of course, thoroughly get everything. And then, of course, the tight spaces were able to get um, thoroughly sprayed as well. Sorry, I'm recording the ground. Um, but these things go up to about 30 feet or so, uh, if I'm correct, about 25, 30 feet spraying distance. And they were perfect for our big open yards, big uh, condo associations that we took care of. But of course, like I said, we went and adjusted them. <clears throat> Fairly easy to adjust, pretty simple to put together. It's not too complicated. The only piece that I had to replace was of course our, um, the Y bracket or, sorry, I'm not, it was a long day. I can't th thoroughly think right now, but uh, that we had to replace that because of course, right here, one of the screws um, for the levers came loose and broke and so it was spraying every, everywhere. Luckily we tested it with the water at first to see how well it worked. That way we weren't spraying pesticide in our, in our, in our yard. But um, fairly simple, all we did was just since there was no good flat split space. Usually on a, a four-wheeler, usually you have a, the flat platform in the back where you're able to mount this on here, but of course we didn't have that. But on our Hustler mower, I don't think I, I can probably get it, but we have a flat space as you see right there. And then we just took the straps, wrapped it around the frame in the whole front and really thoroughly uh, mounted it on there. And of course we have our eye hooks that we mounted around. This was just a really quick, kind of something that we threw together just to, cause we really desperately need to spray our yard, especially in the beginning of the year, try to stay ahead of uh, all of our work. So that, you know, like I said, it actually worked fairly well. It takes a little bit to fill up the 25 gallon tank, but not too bad. Uh, was able to get our jobs done way faster than I um, anticipated. So that was good. Eventually I plan on 
purchasing one of those stand-on mowers. It's basically a stand-on mower that's a big spray rig. Those, you know, they run pretty anywhere from five to up to 10,000 or more. So of course, uh, that's something, you know, since we are licensed to spray here in the state of Washington, that's something that we plan on expanding into is uh, pesticide management, or I guess you could say, even though it's herbicide, it is pesticide management, spraying weeds and stuff like that. <clears throat> So, anyways, this is our little spray rig. It's been, like I said, it's been very, very easy to use. Uh, what we did today, actually, was, of course, it has, I didn't mention this, it does have a spray wand. And so, actually, what happened was I had my employee ride the lawnmower with this thing full. I took the spray wand, and he was literally following me while I sprayed, especially our smaller areas uh, of the grass. Uh, of course, where... Um, the in a sense of the boom sprayer in the back right here if that took up too much room and we were spraying too much on the property which we have to always watch out how much we're actually applying to the property uh that was going to you know spray way too many more chemicals than what we wanted to in a smaller area so what we did was we actually used the spray wand and it does a lot better than the backpack sprayer and of course we have our three i think they're sg20s yeah the sg20s we have three of them in the back two of them are roundup one of them is the uh broadleaf herbicide that we spray uh they've been pretty good um i have i've had problems with these things mostly it is this little let's see if i can sorry guys right there this little knob right here that thing keeps breaking on me I had two, mostly it was the dealer I previously went to, but um, they didn't properly screw them in. And so two of them, when I went to go tighten them, broke on me, which sprayed pesticide everywhere. Uh, just a real pain in the butt. And so, uh, like I said, the dealer I had before was not a good dealer. So I decided to switch. And now, let me go ahead and turn around. Let me make sure I'm in the screen. Okay, cool. And now my dealer is about to see uh, two hours away from me, which is completely worth the drive, trust me. It's a two hour, one way, four, four hour full drive. All right guys, so that's our video for today. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of comments on what pesticides we use. And I plan on doing a full in-depth video on really every single pesticide that we use. Uh, what I believe are the pros and cons, of course. There's a lot of other different companies and brands out there that we haven't used. So of course, if you guys have one that you would recommend, be sure to leave it in the comment below. Always willing to try new products. And of course, if it saves more money, does the job better, um, I'm completely up and for it. So, but I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek at our little spray rig that we have set up. Uh, like I said, the proper way is to use a four-wheeler or to use one of the new spray machines. But of course, we plan on upgrading to that later on in the future. Um, this works honestly perfectly now and I absolutely love it. So um, I think we covered everything. So like I said, I wanted to get a little update to you guys to show you what's been going on here. It's been extremely busy, especially with the weather that we've been having. It's exhausting. It's hard to come home and have, you know, want to record because you just want to relax and cool down after a long haul, you know, long, hot day. And uh, so, yeah, that's it. So be sure to like, subscribe, be sure to, I believe it's in this corner, one of these corners, you'll see a little circle thing. Uh, be sure to check out our new YouTube partners. We're look, you know, we're kind of expanding, getting to know more of the guys in the YouTube community. Uh, so be sure to check out their channel. Some amazing, awesome content. We're partnering up with some of the best on YouTube uh, that have really good, clean, uh, high quality content. Uh, so like I said, like, subscribe, and uh, share. We'll see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping.